This is a Maytag Legacy Series. And if your machine looks like this, it's probably older. Probably looks like all of this here. As the front, it doesn't have any cuts in it. And I mean, it has all this here at the bottom. It's all like a human body type thing. This one's yours. So it just looks like in the back. size looks like this. That's yours. There's no screws down here. Of course at the bottom there's no screws. So we're going to assume we've got to open up the back here. Okay. So once you get this thing turned around, I'm hoping you guys can see this okay. You're going to have one screw there, one there, or two there, excuse me. And there's one on, down there where your hoses are. There would be one right here, right there. You'll have a small one down there towards the bottom, one there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws in the back. Five sixteenths need to take that out. And this one as well has to come off too. So I think that's a total of eight screws we have to get off. Okay, now that you've got those... Uh, screws out of there this thing lifts up it lifts up out of here so you have to get something up there something this to get to lift up to have access to it and this is what it looks like once you have access to it and that's how you get in there now just so you know when you're inside this thing you're trying to take this harness off right there dead center of your camera and you'll notice you'll have to take this tab and pull it away pull it back like you're pulling back a fingernail to get it out of there so you can get the rest of this out of here same thing with these these will have to come out but you gotta be careful because you know the way they're made this one here you'll pinch this one out you'll pinch this little tab here you see? anyhow you have to pinch to pull that one out Probably same with this guy here. Probably same with this guy here. You'll have to just have to be careful so you don't bust these things because you know they make money when you bust them, right? Right. Okay, so we know this one goes here. This one goes back over here. Oh, sorry. This one goes back over here. I'm sorry about this. this is not good filming because it, it's dark and you really can't see all right so we gotta get this one out of here and then we got this one out of here we need to get this one off over here so we can pull the door off so we can inspect all right all right so you got this one needs to come out yet too and between there like this that one out. You just get old, you know. Yeah, that's what you got. You got to pry that one apart to get that one out. Yeah, that's the deal. This one, this one's got this little tab in here. As you can tell, I don't do this for a living, but neither do I like paying somebody to do something that you know you and I can learn how to do ourselves. Are we cheap? No, we're not cheap. We just just get tired of it. Paying somebody to do our work for us. Anyhow, you might have to muscle these things out until you figure out how they come out. But the thing is, you don't want to you don't want to bust your fittings here, guys. Because you bust those fittings, you know, then it's all over. So anyhow, so you also remember this little purple and brown one here are going to go on this one over here. And of course, all these things are made in. And as you can see where they're made from, right? Can you see where that's made from? Oh yeah, there you go. There. But we're gonna go ahead and look at this little fitting again. You notice there's a little screw down here at the very bottom. Do I have that? Yeah, see where that screw is? And that screw would live right up there. Okay, on the back of this thing. So that's where that one lives. Okay. Okay, then you have to look under here. You've got another thing that lives here. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. You just simply pull that one up. 
and off. And this one is very simple. Where is it? This one just simply pulls straight out. Just like that. There's really nothing holding it in. Okay, so there's that. Okay, now you have this complete door off here. And now you can get back here and see what is going on here and why it's leaking. So, we'll get this thing moved out some more. And then we'll go down and inspect our hose and see if our hose is leaking. And that's a good possibility our hose is leaking. And from what I can see now, the hose is leaking. I think you can see it too. There's your hose. See a little drip coming down? So from a bird's eye view here, it goes up like a truck lid, goes up, the backs come off, I think we said eight screws, and of course we know that hose leaks, so now we can go ahead and get this thing out of here and get that hose off and go buy a new hose. we we'll just simply take it off and put a new one on there. Okay, so of course you want to go check your work, so there you can see right there is your hole, and that's where the water was coming from, so therefore it's time to replace the entire hose. Okay, there you go guys.